guys, it's me, and I got a battle for you today. <clears throat> uh, okay, so I originally intended to upload this battle to GTS, and I sent them an email and everything, but, um, like, and I sent an email, like, with this battle, but turns out Meteors actually went ahead and sent them in, sent that same battle in itself, so I pretty much pulled my entry, because I'm pretty sure nobody wants to watch the same entry twice. But, um, anyway, this is a game match with a hail team that I'm currently undergoing. It's under construction. But, um, as you can see here, um, his Chandelure actually is going to be a big, big problem. And that Porygon 2 is probably going to be annoying as well. But my team here, obviously, is pretty much the only team that's... I mean, Abomas knows the only weather around right now in Yu-Yu. So I figured now is a perfect time in any to try out this one particular Pokemon, which would be Raikou. Because I gave it a special move, and I was really dying to try it out. So I built a team just to try this one move. I built a Hail team, essentially. So, yeah. Um, the Arcanine's for taking hits. The Kingdra... I, I don't know. I think I just ran out of ideas, and I threw a Kingdra on there. Um... Bulky hit. I got my Frost Slash for setup. My Spinner will be Hitman Top and the Raikou. You'll see. With, and then the, um, my Arcanine will take pretty much the Flash Fire. Hit anything that, um, fire. It, it has Flash Fire. All right. Okay. So, anyway. I'm going to lead out with my, uh, Obama Snow. <coughs> and, uh, of course, he's going to go with the Problem Starter right away. He's going to lead with Chandelure. I mean, nothing wrong with that, right? But, um... Kind of predict him, you know, Meteors kind of goes for uh, pretty obvious moves on the first play, but this time he actually just goes for Shadow Ball here, just thinking that I'm going to bring Arcanine in just to, uh, um, stuff, but, uh, yeah, so I'm pretty much going to lose my Arcanine if I don't play this carefully, so, because I'm playing things stupidly, well then, oh well. But, um, I'm going to switch in my Hitman Top as he just, you know, switches out to, um, his... Uh, Porygon 2. I want I want to keep calling it Porygon Z. That's not what it is. But uh, he traces my Intimidate. That's going to be a lot more annoying to deal with because I'm now to minus one because that's stupid traits. So I'm probably going to get out of here as fast as I can. I'm going to go into my um, my Frost Slash as he's going to predict me to switch out once again and he's going to go back into that stupid Chandelure. I'm like, oh, this thing's going to be annoying. I'm like, fine. I'm just going to switch out. Again, just to Kingdra, maybe he'll go for, like, um, Fire Blast or Shadow Ball. I, I don't know. But upon discovery, I actually brought the wrong Kingdra, like, a lot. Like, this is a Rain Dance set. I'm like, uh, I'm like, I could change the weather if I really wanted to, but, I mean, the hail's hurting his Pokemon, too, so whatever. I don't really care so much. Um, anyway, I'm gonna bring out my, uh, Frost Last yet again. Maybe I probably should have tried to set up some spikes here, knowing that he'd probably go back out into that frost, uh, his chandelure. But, um, I'm just gonna go for a blizzard, just to see what kind of damage I can do. And I got a bonus freeze, too. I'm like, yes! I'm like, I am happy with this. I, I'm like, okay. I'm like, we'll take a stupid move and we'll turn it into something better. Alright. So, um, I'm gonna just start setting up spikes. I'm like, well, whatever, he's frozen. I'm like... I'm ready for it. I mean, whatever this thing can get up spikes wise, I'm like, can happen. I'm like, I can get whether he gets off one layer or two layers before he thaws out, or three layers in this case before he thaws out, <coughs> is perfect. So he thaws out finally, and he misses his fire blast. You know, just uh, more salt into that wound right there. Like, uh, rub it in good. Um. Anyway, gonna. Go back out to his, uh, gonna go back out to my, uh, Arcanine here. And, uh, obviously he's pretty much gonna lock himself into Fire Blast. So I take a Flash Fire boost, pretty much. I'm like, ooh, Flash Fire. Well, obviously I can't do anything back to him, because he's got Flash Fire too. So, I could go for Wild Charge, Close Combat, and Extreme Speed won't touch him, but then I die from Recoil. But, I guess, in retrospect, I should have left my Arcanine in and just went for the Wild Charge, I guess. But, I don't know why I didn't. But I think I was trying to save him a little bit longer. I think I wanted him a little bit longer for uh, Verizion or something. And that just didn't really have to happen. So I ended up bringing him back in for, like, fodder against the ice. I'm like, alright, whatever. At least I'll get him to switch. Um, at least I get to... Uh, at least I get to kill off this uh, Chandelure here. And he took some hail damage while I was goofing around. So, okay, whatever. 
Um, anyway, so he brings in his fly guy, and I guess I derp about speeds for a second, because, uh, he totally outspeeds me, and he kills my Kingdra off. I'm like, eh, whatever, Kingdra did what is working, and plus it was the wrong Kingdra anyway, so, yeah. Um, but since he locked himself in, uh, Outrage for me, I can easily just go into my Frost Lash, which will easily outspeed him, because I do run max speed on this Frost Lash, and just go for the Blizzard and just completely annihilate his, uh, fly gun. So, yeah, take that, you jerk. Stupid fly gun. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Anyway, he goes back into his, or not back into, but he switches out into his Escavalier, which I don't even remember, honestly, what this thing has, you know? I, I, I can't remember at all for the life of me. I went for the taunt maybe thinking I knew he did have Sword Dance, and I know his item is Akaberry that he does carry on that, but I should have thought of Iron Head. I'm like, the thing's a giant steel head. Why would I not think of Iron Head? I'm just, I couldn't think of its moveset. I'm like, what does this thing have? Oh, Iron Head. Right, I forgot about that. But, um, anyway, I'm just going to go for, uh, now I'm going to bring up my special Pokemon here, which uh, I'm going to go into a little bit more depth here after I set up the plus one here. Now, this Arcanine, uh, Arcanine, this Raikou here has, uh, Weather Ball. Yes, gets it by event. The, uh, you know, the rash natured, uh, Raikou you get with the Aurasphere. Yeah, it came with Weather Ball. So, I figured with Hail being the only thing to run around, um, right now, I'd figure, I'm like, well, there's no really weather that can go around and change it if it really wants, I mean, manual weather, yeah, but I mean, like, it's not like a Powdon's running around down there right now, so, I mean... Yeah, or any other weather for that matter, but, um, I figured, well, why not? I mean, let, let's give this Raikou a shot. I mean, it's 100 base power, it beats the crap out of, uh, alright, it's a, it's a 100 after the hail starts up, you know, then it takes on that type, so, pretty much, I got him, I got a slightly strong, I got a 30 more base power of hidden power, <laughs> so, um, anyway, uh, his, um, let's get, skip back into that anyway, but uh, after being at a plus one pretty much, I'm probably going to swap the item out on that, because uh, I'm taking life orb damage, and I don't really take a lot of life orb damage on that thing, because in this case, I'm taking hail damage, life orb damage, and I took burn, so I have to swap the item out on that, just in case I get status inflicted, I'm taking way too much damage, and that was not intentional, so uh, we're going to swap out the item there, maybe lefties or air balloon, I don't know, maybe air balloon, who knows, I, I don't know, I don't, well, I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out, anyway, I'm going to bring back in my hip and top, but, and obviously it's just not going to work because that stupid trace ability, so, uh, anyway, he's going to recover off the spikes damage he just took, I'm like, well, whatever, I guess it's okay, like, like, whatever, um, going to go for the blizzard, that doesn't do as much as I hope it would have, but I mean, I don't have any, um, I don't have any special attack EV, wait, I think I do actually, I think I have like four, it's a bulkier set, it's like bold max defense, max HP set, like, it's meteor set from fourth gen, that's what it is, it's like bold nature, that, that, that's the set I'm running, but, uh, regardless, it has, like, four special attack EV, so I mean, just a little bit, but, um, these tri-attacks are pretty much starting to wear me down, so I know I needed to get off the leech seed here, and, uh, pretty much just what I did, and as I'm slowly recovering, eh, a little bit of health here and there, you know, leftovers and stuff, I'm just gonna, uh, call my, uh, call my bomb of snow back and just send out my, uh, close com- uh, close com- what am I talking about? My Hitmon top and go for the close combat, wow, okay, get off a of pointless intimidate, I mean, it's obviously pointless because it's special attacking. Porygon, too. Though I wouldn't put it past Meteors if it did have a physical attack on that set, but that's all I'm saying. Um, so, anyway, getting more uh, health back from this uh, Porygon, too. I'm like, hey, I'm not hating this. So, I'm just going to go back out. He's going to switch his uh, uh, Porygon Z out. I'm going to go for the um, uh, for the close combat here now. Okay, so that's what I do. And, um, that did a lot more than I thought it would. I didn't, I don't know if I'm running full attack in this thing. I don't think I am. I'm pretty sure I'm not. But I know for a fact that Verizion is fully defensive. Um, full max, uh, max HP and max D. So, uh, max defense. So, uh, the fact that that close combat did that much, I was actually kind of, uh, I thought it would take it a whole lot better. I'm like, Ugh. Crap. And that's why I needed my Frost Lass, because, like, I have nothing for this other than that. I mean, I have the Obama Snow, but I'm like, I'm like, the Obama Snow, like, is kind of weak to it since it's got Focus Blast, and I'm like, 
I mean, it's always focus miss, for that matter, but I mean, I'm not really willing to take that risk. But, it turns out close combat actually does end up helping me out here a lot more than I thought, but, um, I am now, like, after two close combats and now an intimidate, I kinda need to, uh, I, I realize I need to kinda get out of here. Or, one close, wait, is that one? Oh, whatever, I'm, I need to get out of there now, regardless of what I'm at. I'm like, okay, we gotta get out, like, now, so, uh. He's gonna recover, pretty much. I guess he knew he wouldn't die. I knew he wouldn't die either after the minus one, pretty much. But, uh, it's kinda hoping for, like, a crit. I don't know, but even I don't even think, honestly, the crit would've actually helped. But, um, uh, I don't know. I need to start doing damage calcs, but math and stuff. I'm like, who cares? Anyway, I'm gonna send back in my Obama Snow here. And the Obama Snow is pretty much just gonna try and do what it did before. Just get off some meat seed and power. Um, so what am I doing? Uh, so many afterturn effects, oh my goodness. Okay, so right now I'm trying to restore my health to, uh, kind of what it is. Just need to, I don't really want to take a bunch of try attacks. So after I get, regain a little bit more health, I'm going to want to try now, going for the leech seed, which I am now going to, uh, try, but I believe I miss, and he hits his try attack, of course, because, I mean, yeah, so... Yep, I missed the uh, leech seed, so that was kind of irritating, but to be fair, I did freeze his chandelure earlier, so I mean, I guess, I mean, nowhere near even, but whatever, I mean, I, I missed, so, plus his um, chandelure missed like two fire blasts, so whatever, but um, anyway, going for, again, I'm going to try going for the leech seed again, hopefully I can get off, uh, um, whatever, I, I don't even know if, if I would have recovered, if I protected first, if I could have gained some health back a little bit more to live that try attack, but I don't know, we'll never know actually, but whatever, um, so, uh, anyway, I'm gonna bring out the, uh, Hitman Top here, and the Hitman Top's gonna go for close combat, and he's just barely gonna live, and of course, his try attack is gonna be able to take me out from right where he is, being now at a minus one, and I don't get to get any of that least seated damage back, so I'm like, oh man, or it's not gonna take me out, it's just, I think Hale takes me out before the leech seed takes effect, so I'm like, darn it, so I just barely lost and stuff, but, uh, hey, that was the breaks, right, but, um, hope you enjoyed this battle, guys, until next time, rate, comment, sub, and later, bye!